I was the Zimbabwe delegate to the TRIPS negotiations as well as the Africa Group focal point on intellectual property issues. And in that capacity and together with the experts from the African Group and under the guidance of our ambassadors, we asked the TRIPS Council to convene a special session um, to discuss the issue of the relationship between intellectual property protection and access to affordable medicines. The TRIPS, TRIPS Council did this and we managed to come up as members with uh, the Doha Declaration on the TRIPS Agreement and Public Health in Doha in 2001. And following that, we worked on a decision um, to make sure that countries with insufficient or no manufacturing capacity in the pharmaceutical sector would be able also to make use of compulsory licensing. And I think this amendment deals in a very innovative way with this uh, problem that a country which issues a compulsory license might find itself um, in a situation where it cannot produce the medicines. And for the African group, I think it, this amendment remains important in that uh, um, the problems we were identifying when we asked the TRIPS Council to deal with this issue don't appear to have gone away. So at some point, an African country might find itself having to use this um, amendment. And indeed, one African country has already successfully used it. And as the African group, we joined consensus throughout the process. And I think it is only the sensible thing to do that we finalize this process by ratifying the amendment.